the spirit of Detroit. You can't be cute against the Detroit Lions. You can't be. And this is this is seen on two or three plays in this game where the Vikings just got too cute for themselves. They got too complex. This play is really designed for this man here. All he's going to do is run a curl. All this misdirection and nonsense by Naylor is just to confuse the defensive backs and show man coverage. Here we're going to pivot. He was going to be the primary receiver on this play no matter what. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Everyone wants to be cute against Detroit. Look at look at uh, look at Arnold. He says I got the outside. If you look closely, he waves like I stay in there, stay inside. I got the outside. And this reminded me of the Dallas Cowboys play, where it's the same kind of design. It's the same kind of design, man. Now, is is a different play, different formation. Obviously, they're spaced out. They're not in bunch, trips bunch. But everybody wants to be cute against the Detroit Lions. Here, take what you got. Instead, you want to be cute. You want to throw an interception to Brian Branch. Max protection. You got the running back on the outside. But no, you go to Brian Branch's side. If I'm a quarterback, I'm just taking my little, look at this. Wide open. Michael Rodriguez killed, guys. No, he didn't. He got killed. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about. Brian Branch gets another pick in another game, sealing another win for the Detroit Lions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Love you. Just for giggles, this is another prime example of being too cute. The guy has the completion. He has the first down. He wants to do extra shit on third down. He wants to be cute. Everybody just wants to be cute, bro. He has the first down. Two yards does not make a difference. Go straight out of bounds. No. Uh -huh. They lucky this was called back. If this wasn't called back, oh my God. Minnesota, you tried to be cute, bro. It didn't work out. It's not working for you. It's not your look. You two are some ugly motherfuckers. Look, this dude look like a Neanderthal and <laughs> you look like a Viking for real. <laughs> Sorry for the cursing, guys. It's just, it's just, it comes out of me. Anyway. Yep. Aaron Glenn's scheme, you can't be cute. The talented players that we have, you cannot be cute. Matter of fact, Brian Branch had an interview where he stated that 70% of his picks are coming from the scheme and not him. He's just being where he's told to be, doing what he's told to do, and he has the talent to do it. When coaching and talent meet, look out. Watch out. It's not going to be easy. This is Avery Giovanni, Spirit Detroit Podcast. Oh, yes. And I have to include, I was trying to find that stupid trick play that the that they were doing, but the film is limited, and it's just, I was trying to find the, the stupid trick play that they were doing with Justin Jefferson. You know that shit didn't work out. That was terrible. But like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all. Man, we coming back with the tape don't lies. Tell me if you like these tape don't lies. Tell me if you don't. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you know. Leave your comments below. So AG's putting me in hella positions to make plays. So it's really 90, 70% him, 30% me. How much was this team looking to step up in Hutchinson's absence or, or, as a defense as a whole as well today? Oh, huge. Uh, we knew, you know, coming to this game, uh, Hutch is a big piece for us and everybody got to pick up their slap. And, you know, we're going to do that for the rest of the season. Hutch yeah. not just out for yeah. like two games, three games. He's out for the whole season. So it's going to have to be like that for the whole season. Just talk about how big this defense can be. The spirit of Detroit.